Hello and welcome back to the colony with Man of the Ants playing some more Dirt Rally 2 today, very excitingly. Last time we took the Lancia Stratos out for a spin and did pretty well, managed to get up to first place in our little rally event at the end, so that went pretty well. Also a car that I apparently utterly love, that car is so much fun to drive with a wheel, so big props to Kapil for that. So he has of course come back with some more suggestions, I'm just going to move my headset slightly out of the way so I can see them. So he has suggested this time the BMW E30 M3 Evo in Nornby Ridge Descent in Australia. He's also started adding in the weather conditions, which means he's going to make me drive in the wet at some point, so can't say I'm entirely looking forward to that. So there we go. So there has also been an update to Dart 2, or Dart Rally 2, I should say. I always get that wrong, don't I? So there is a free roam option available now, which seems quite interesting. I assume you can just pick a part of the country which can, can, can consist of a track and just run along, which is quite nice, actually. Um, also, interestingly, they also have the World Series going now, and I'm sure you actually know about this if you are into rally games, but if you're not aware, there are now qualifiers running with a different track each week, and you can compete in the qualifiers to try and get a place in the, uh, the finals, <laughs> in the championship, for the Dirt Rally World Series, which is super exciting. Um, it does require a wheel in the finals. You can use any control scheme in the uh, in the qualifiers, but in the finals, you actually need to use a wheel. So if you're going to do it, I'd recommend using a wheel anyway, I guess. So we're going to do the Norrinby Ridge Descent, which is in Australia. It's 3.28 miles, so it seems fairly short. And there's an elevation change of 127 feet. Is that... It doesn't do minuses, does it? No, so I assume that does mean like we're going to go downhill then. So it'll probably be quite fast. Gravel, medium gravel, and there's a little bit of asphalt in there as well. So we're going to put it on a dry surface because for some reason it's on wet. Confirm that. And then we are after the BMW. Let's go past the BMW. No, it's a Ford. How did I get that confused? Not the M1. Where are we looking? Where are you? Do we have the BMW? There is a lot of... Uh, oh, no, not the M2. I mean, we are very much up into the uh, top range of us. Maybe we don't have the BMW. Oh, that could be a problem. <laughs> I'm going to have to figure out what would be an equivalent. Well, there we go. The BMW E30 M3 Evo. Let's just do a very quick check. Uh, yes, that is the one he said. Okay, so this is a rear-wheel drive again by the look of it. He said it is, what did he say, it's longer and more powerful. Also well balanced though, so he said holding the car should be a bit more predictable than with the Stratos. It's a six speed as well, I think that's the first six speed we've had. All right then. So, same format as usual, we will do a run. We'll do like a, we'll do the, uh, like a, a short little test just to see what it's like. Then we'll do a proper run and then we will jump off camera do a few runs on my own to get used to the track and try and get my time down a little bit before we jump into a rally simulation to see how we can do competing against other people. So as normal, we're not going to do any setup on the car. We should be... Oh, I'm leaning on the cable, though. I would say I'm probably a little bit... That's a bit better. It does seem to have a tendency of putting you a little bit too far away. Tiny mirrors, I notice. Tiny mirrors, guy. There are tiny mirrors in this car. I know, what's that about? All right then, handbrake down. Four, three, two, one, go. 60, three right tightens, two right. Ooh, it goes through the gears quick. Into one left, opens. I guess that's, ooh, hello. What happens when you have Into six gears? Right. I guess the gear ratios are rest. set a bit closer together. I can see what you meant about the control in then. It doesn't seem to want to kick itself out quite as much as the uh, Stratos did. I think that might be our first ever dip, you know. So these posts all around the course are going to be very problematic, I suspect. It's just clipping those, it's going to cause all sorts of problems. I've got to say, this surface is quite a lot of fun on the uh, on the way. You can see the surface has got like a little... A lot of little stones in the uh, embedded in it, and you can really feel those when they come along. And it's quite direction dependent or side dependent. So there's a period there where they were only on the right, and it did you could feel it more on the right hand side of the wheel, which was interesting. Three left long of a crest. 
Left into three. Right long. Opens 40. Okay, so I think we've got a bit of an idea. We'll maybe get up towards the next, uh, to crest like halfway through this section. I don't think we've done Australia right. before. It's, oh, maybe that's where we'll stop. Maybe that's where we'll stop. That seems like a sensible place to stop, doesn't it? Yep. He is well up for it. All right, then. So let's... Oh, yes, I need to use the keyboard, don't I? Because I've taken over the menu button. Ugh, all the way over there. Right, so let's restart, then. That wasn't restart. That's that's the restart button. Yes, please. And we will have a go. I need to reset my view again because I'm a bit far. There we go. All right, then. Let's do Five, this. Four, three, two, one, go. 60, three right tightens, two right. I mean, yeah, you get into third before you get to that yellow sign, and then it wants to go into fourth before you hit that. It's got a one left. Opens of a crest. Ooh, dear. See those posts? I told you they were going to be a problem. Into six left to flat middle of a crest. 30, five left of a crest. 30, dip. Into five right, extra long. There are so many gear changes. I can see them being mildly problematic. As we've already seen a few times. Into five right. To crest into four left long, Titans three. Ooh, that's going to be a troublesome one by the look of it. Just about clip that one, drop it back down into four. Jump maybe. Jump maybe? Oh, hello. Yes. Yes, jump. Yes, jump. Smash that really badly. Oh, I didn't want to go too far, but I did. All right, let's recover the vehicle. I'd like to Six recover right the vehicle. Into five left long, opens up a crest. Into four right long, straight to a junction, three left long. So if we can get rid of that, oh my word, what happened there? I might have right damaged long, the car, you know. Opens, might 40. have to do our first restart of a... Uh... It's hard to tell because I can't hear. Usually you can hear the punctures. Right long, but the surface is so noisy. Three left long. Don't cut, he says. Well, that's where I went off the course before, wasn't it? I'm going to have to restart this, otherwise it's going to be absolutely ridiculous. All right, then. <laughs> I mean, it is smoking a little bit from the uh, bonnet there, so it's definitely not gone very well. That wasn't the right button, was it? Not even close. All right, then. One more try. Five, four, three, two, one. 60, three right tightens, two right. Yeah, we've never done so badly before that I need to uh, Into one left. restart my bad attempt. That's not a great sign. The car feels right. heavier than the Stratos. Like, it takes more to throw it out, but when it does, it also feels like it takes more to try and correct it. 30, five left of a crest. 30, dip. Into five right, extra long, tightens four of a crest. Opens to flat right of a crest. Into six so I don't know whether I hit one of those posts there or if it's just me trying to correct it that flicked it out then. And I'm sure we will get somewhat used to the car. I think I must have hit something there on the left. We'll definitely hit the uh, bank there. That's got a chance of causing a puncture, so we need to be a bit careful with that. That sign again. That sign. Into three right long. Opens forty. We've got further than we ever have before. Look. To crest. Into don't cut. Not even a third of the way through the track. <laughs> oh no, that's where we normally go off the track. Oh my god, there it is. I think that might be the first time we've crashed to a dead stop and not stalled the car. So, you know, progress and all that. And two left. Oh, that was bad. And then we hit that. Not going to change down. That'll be fine there. To flat middle of a jump, maybe. 30. Four right Titans. Into three left of a crest, Titans. Oh. Portion, two right, Titans don't cut. Oh, that other post. Six left. Titans don't cut. Two right. Don't cut. 
Maybe we should have grid. braked a little bit, perhaps. Into six left. Did he say through gate? I didn't hear through gate. Into six left. Gonna skip a gear there, go straight up into fifth. Could probably manage, or I don't know if we could manage six. There's a lot, a lot of movement on the course there. And again, we didn't. Oh, oh come on! This course is going to be tricky. This course is going to be tricky. Is it? A, yeah, I mean that's very frustrating. We got a lot closer then, though, didn't we? Oh. All right then. I said one more, but we're going to have to do one more because I could do with getting at least one run in. Maybe we'll just have to be a bit more, uh, a bit more careful than we've actually been. Three. This time. Go. Oh, bad start. Three right bad start. Two right. Into one left. Hit that post to slow me down a little bit. Nicely done. Right. Using the terrain and the course to your advantage. That's what that is. Into six left. To flat middle of a crest. 30. Five left of a crest. 30. All right, there's fifth. Into five right. Extra long. Tightness four. I'm already trying to start to try. I'm already starting <laughs> to get a bit of an idea for the course, though, which is nice. I'm already getting a bit of a feel for this beginning section because I've already had to do it a few times, of course. But uh, oh, he says, going quite wrong there. Oh, come on, come on. Opens of a crest, thirty. All right, we'll take off five left. like five seconds for that if we get to the end. To the jump, maybe. 30, six right, to five left long. Opens of a crest, to four right long. Tighten straight of a junction. Three left long of a Oh, crest. come on. Oh, we, oh, hello, door. What's going on with you? Right long, opens 40. So that isn't the right we need to worry about. That door is flapping in my peripheral vision. And it's slightly frustrating. Three left long. Three left long, don't cut, but also do slow the car down a bit. Into caution, five left of a crest. So that's the first time we got around that corner, okay. So again, progress. And then there's a two. Ooh, what happened there? Five left long tightens. Is that a puncture? Oh, it is a puncture, all right. So we're not actually going to get to see me do a full run of this. I'm going to have to go off camera and hello. <laughs> and have a go at that. Oh, I've done it again. Have a go at that uh, without you, I'm afraid. So I'm going to do my practice runs. As soon as I actually manage to get a time in, I'll cut back in so you can see what I've actually managed to do. <laughs> all right, then. 60 of a jump and bumps. Oh, dear. Into six right of a crest. Of a finish. Well, there we go. So I did manage to actually get a full run in. 3.46. I've got no idea how that compares. That run did actually include that crash that I probably put in there as well. So that does include a rolling crash that I had to reverse back onto the track to uh, recover from. So I'm sure we can do better other than better than that, better at that, better than that. Both. I can definitely do better is the main thing to take away. Dun. Three left long of a crest. To four right long, tighten straight of a junction. Hmm, dearie me. Six right, 30. Tighteners don't cut. Into six left. Damn it. Damn it. Six left long, tightness five of a crest. Oh, come on. Oh, perfect. 60 of a jump and bumps. Less perfect. 60 of a jump and bumps. <laughs> That's the first time for everything. Portion, two right, tightness don't cut. Into six left. 60 of a jump and bumps. Long tightens. Into three left. 
left. <gasps> no, 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 no. The full right long, Titans. Well, that's a really weird sound bug. Titans straight of a junction. Three left long of a crest. Straight of a junction. Three left long of a crest. Six left long. Titans five of a crest. 80. 60 of a jump. Um. <laughs> oh, what just happened? 60 of a jump. Um. Opens of a crest. 30. Six left long. Tightness five of a crest. 80. 60 of a jump. A bump. Oh, come on. Opens. Into six right of a crest. Of a finish. Oh, my word. That is my first and closest thing to a clean race or clean run clean run i should say so we knocked 15 seconds off our time there but my word that was not easy and you can see that my previous best that last split was actually faster in the previous best we could almost certainly knock a couple of seconds more off quite easily so yes i managed to not crash majorly there there are a couple of you know pinball moments but no actual places where i had to stop stall start the car again, reverse any of that, which I had in my previous best run, I got stuck in a gate and had to reverse out of it. So that's a victory for me. So I think we are now re ready, ready and raring to go straight into the rally thing. I was probably actually gonna go into the rally mode anyway after that run, cause I have now been recording for almost a full hour. <laughs> and it's taken me a full hour to do one clean run. Uh, I could probably could do it. Know what my time was? What, what was? Mm, maybe it, maybe it'll tell us. I'm sure, it'll tell us, right? Australia. Um, full. Where is the BMW? There it is. That one. And then we actually need to change the track to that one with a dry surface. Thank you. Uh, surface interval is irrelevant. Oh, all right then. Let's see how this goes. As I have changed the livery of the BMW, I had that, I, I did make a note to put it in, I don't know if we'll or not, uh, but my sound just went pop at one point, and I could, I could hear the gravel hitting the underneath of the car like I was about 10 meters away in a fish tank, and I had no engine noise or, or anything. It was very weird, so I had to actually come out of that and go back into it. So when I went back in, I realized you can actually change the liveries of these cars, look. Look at this. They have different liveries. So I thought we'd go red, taking on the orc frame of mind that a red car, that's gonna go faster, right? If you believe it, it's true. Oh, all right, then here we go. So I've got a pretty good handle on this course now. I like, I know what's coming. I'm just not very good at it, which is obviously the main problem. Um, does it tell me anywhere what my previous best was? I can't see it anywhere, which is a mild shame. I'm about to go back in to have another look. Oh, all right then. Start 60. Three right long. 358, 356, where are we? 346, sorry. Good luck. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we'll have to go back into the time trial, I think, to check that if we have a not great run. Five. So one of the other things that I've waited until the actual race to uh, one, tell you go. 60. is, or oh, one, Titans, I can start that in at least second, if not third, so that's a very bad start, but we'll see how it goes. Oh, this is very, very timid, <laughs> timid start for me. But we might be able to pick it up as we go, so we'll leave it as it is for now. So yeah, so uh, there was the big update to the game, as I mentioned, they've unlocked the World Championship, up to fourth, up to fifth for this ridge. Um, and the free roam as well, which, like I said, sounds quite interesting. They have also made just some general improvements to VR. So I have noticed I normally have OK performance. And then I'll notice that there's a couple of runs where the performance will start dropping a bit. And then it'll just start suddenly pick up again, like there's something going on in the background. Down into fourth to get around this corner. Um, so they have made some, some improvements. 
Uh, apparently, they've also made some quite significant improvements with the Oculus Rift as well. So they actually asked for feedback from Rift users on if they noticed anything. This corner is always a problem. And it's still a problem. But we didn't crash, so that's okay. Uh, yes, but they have also just improved the general le legibility. Yeah, that'll do. Of the text in VR. So the time in the top left that you should be able to see... Oh, get away from that wall, you son of a gun. ...is much, much improved to where it was now. So I can actually see that quite easily. Oh, I've come around that corner so beautifully sometimes. I was really hoping I'd be able to pull that off again. I don't often hit that either. And also, I'm pretty sure the pace notes of, that come up on screen... Oh, you bugger. We'll count that as a carry-on for now, just because I do so badly at this track. Hopefully, we'll go okay from there. So yes, and the, the text in the top right, I think, is bigger, but it's, it is readable, but it's not readable at a glance. I've got to look at it for about a second so I can actually figure it out. So ideally, we would have come through there in fifth. This corner is always a problem because you've got that big ridge on your right. And I always take that corner badly, and I try changing down in the middle of it, and then I span the car out of nowhere. Where did that happen? Well, this is not going to be a fast time, is it? So let's stop that. Okay, here we go again then. So I did pop out to take a look at my time, and time is 3.31. So based on that current class leader, we'd be okay with that. Well, it probably goes, like I say, it probably gets, does get a bit faster than that, but that's our sort of benchmark to aim for. I also took a break to go and fix a curtain rail, so all of that focus that I had has uh, probably gone a little bit. So we'll see how this goes. Again, I could start that in... Uh, oh, that's a terrible start. That's a terrible start, but okay. Into one left. No, no, I've immediately changed my mind. Okay, so we're going to go for starting in second, see how that goes. I've started in third by accident before, and it seemed to be okay and faster than my uh, normal starts. Oh, yeah, two's fine. Two's fine. I normally try and get up to four to drop back down to third to get around that first corner. Obviously, we missed four that time, but it still worked out okay for us. It's a little slow getting around there. Into six left, to flat middle of a crest, 30, five left of a crest, 30. And up into fifth for the top of that crest. Extra long, tightens four of a crest, opens to flat right of a crest. Oh, I was panicking there for a second. I thought I was going to go wide on that. left, into five right. All right. Go down a gear for that, down to fourth. Ooh, a little bit of oversteer there, almost threw us off the cliff. Up into fifth for the jump. That gear change felt very slow, or sounded very slow, didn't it? And this is the one we need to worry about a little bit. We'll get down into fourth. Ooh, really spin that a little bit. Opens 40. Yeah, I feel very uh, haphazard. I feel like I've lost a little bit of my smoothness that I did have. What little bit there was. We'll drop back down into fourth, come into a bit fast, maybe. Oh, that felt okay, actually. I think if I managed to uh, get a bit of a slide into start, probably would have come around it a bit faster. That was terrible. Just bouncing all over the place there. Five left long Titans. To flat middle of a jump, maybe. No, no jump, no jump. Oh, yeah, there is a jump, this one, isn't it? Yeah. There it is. And then this corner is often problematic, so we'll drop down before we get there. Try and engine brake a little bit. Still take it very badly. This has not gone well. That corner I am particularly bad at for some reason. And then we've got to go through this grid here. And then this is generally, if I can get vague control of the car, where it actually gets very fast, and I go down into... Oh, I go up into six, and I'm going to hit that. That could have been a lot worse. That could have been a lot worse. I'm actually going to skip here. I'm going to skip third and go straight into fourth there. We're going downhill anyway. So normally I'm okay. I can manage six, get a good bit of speed up down here, up until this bit, which I just, oh my word, 
which I just cannot do very well at all. Once I have managed to get through that bit and through this gate without any major issues. Once. It is honestly a horrible bit. Because you're coming down that hill anyway. You're in sick. You are absolutely flying. Oh, what happened there? We're all right. You're absolutely flying. Then you hit that jump, and straight after that jump, the surface just gets terrible. To four left, tightness of a crest. And I try to uh, brake and kind of slow the car Into down a bit to control crest. it a bit, but I just cannot get a handle on that bit quite yet. Now, normally from here, of a crest. we're pretty safe Into normally. Five this last Into five right of a crest. last sector, and oh my word, I wasn't watching what I was doing. I was trying to look at the sector thing. I want to get a time on the board just so we can see what the uh, competition actually does. Obviously, they're going to be way ahead of this run. This corner is the only one which really is slightly problematic. I've occasionally had a little mishap or two there. Into turn square left. Opens. And then this square left is the last corner on the grid anyway. Finish. Oh, so what did we get? 4.12. That's a terrible time. We can do a lot better than that. We know we can do... Oh, did I not? Oh, I did. <laughs> Same. How did the car feel in that stage? Well, then, well... Do you want to make any setup changes <laughs> at the next service? Uh, I could probably do a change in a few things in the car. Um, so, yeah, we got 18th with us. We weren't even last with that, which isn't bad. And 3.35 is Jay King's time. English driver, though, I like to see that. So if we can get a slightly clean time on that... We could actually do a first place run again. So let's see if we can do. Well, I have one more go. Like I say, I have been recording for a little while now. One go. Almost started in uh, first again. Two right. Into one left. So messed up going back into third, but it doesn't matter because we're slowing down anyway. So it didn't hurt us too much. Yeah, so this might have to, if I don't muck up quickly, this might have to be my last go, just because, like I say, we've been recording for a little while trying to get to this point. It's getting a little late. Had that diversion fixing a curtain rail, as you do. Standard VR recording happenstance. And I do know I could do first. I know I've done a time, which is first place worthy. Down into fourth for that corner. Ooh, a bit of oversteer. We controlled it, though. Go down into third to get the speed up again. Up into fifth, ready for the jump. Opens of a crest into four right long. Tighten straight of a junction. Three left long of a crest. Actually went into third there. I normally go into fourth, but we came through it okay. That corner before that open area with the vehicles in is honestly, it's my second worst corner in the game, just behind that... Uh, gate after the downhill sixth gear run. Into three right. No, I don't think that was very fast, but we didn't Five left of a have a slow power slide, I suppose, so Into two right that's not bad. And we didn't clip the side there. Opens of a crest, 30. That's possibly my third worst corner. Five left <laughs> oh, I don't know. It's top five. I don't think it's my third one, actually. To flat middle of a jump, maybe, 30. Right Titans, into three left of a crest Titans. Because these the two here two are Titans don't generally pretty bad. Left. Pretty much like that, yeah, pretty much like that. Why aren't I going anywhere? Oh, I'm going to have to recover. Into six left. It's going to be quicker to recover, so I've lost four seconds there. That's a little bit sad. And I'm apparently 15 seconds off the top time. I don't get how I'm 15 seconds off. I think that's 11 seconds off anyway. That's terrible. This is where we need to try and hold control of the car downhill. Sixth gear, don't clip the side. Oh, don't clip a tree. Oh, my word. We're going to stop that. We're not going to get a good time there, are we? So, and we've got a puncture anyway. All right. One more. One more. Let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> Almost starting first again. 60, three right titans, oh, I jumped the start. Right. Okay, well, we're not having that. 
Yeah, definitely not having a jump start straight away. Do you need to get a bit recentered again? There we go. Oh, okay. Four, three, two, one, go. 60, three right tightens, two right. Missed that third, so we've got a little bit of into one Lost left. like half a second maybe at the beginning there. A bit more with this terrible, terrible first corner. The second corner wasn't so bad. Third corner is okay. Although fishtailed a bit afterwards and ended up doing that. So that's not very good. A little late getting into fifth there. Opens to flat right of a crest. I quite often clip one of those posts going around that corner, but I don't think we lose a lot of time because we're going so fast that they uh, don't impede the car too much. Down into fourth for this corner. Oh, come on. Come on. That's not reverse. Oh, all right. No. All right. Okay. <laughs> one more. Come on now, you can do this this first part of the track I've done so many times. It shouldn't even be close to being a problem. Into one left. Opens. Into two right. Opens of a crest. Oh the first corner was banging, the second one was terrible. And the third one's a little bit uncontrolled is how I would describe that. left of a crest. A little late getting into fifth again. And we just clipped that inside hill a bit as well, but we seem to have just about got away with it. Down into fourth for this. Oh my, no, what is going on with that corner? Oh. I need to get further than the far sector. I need to get further than the far sector. Five, four, this time, this three, time. You got faith? One, go. It doesn't look like he's got much faith. Three right tightens, two right. Into one left. Opens. Use a bad gear change to Eight, smash right. ourselves around that corner. That went quite well. That went all right as well, actually. And a bit of gentle throttle control on the third corner got us around there fairly smooth as well. Up into fifth, a good second earlier than the last couple of runs, which is good. Just shows that we carried a lot more speed through those corners. That corner felt quite good. So go around here, go down into fourth. And we take it a little wider and a little more gentle. Just avoid that fish tail and go in uh, or that oversteer and going down off the course, which we've managed to pull off. We're in fifth for that jump. We didn't. Uh, well, that went quite well. We didn't. We could have should have probably should have gone down the gear so we could get a bit more acceleration coming out of it. But we actually managed to get through it fairly cleanly, ignoring the sign. Ooh. Ignoring that sign as well. Everything's going great. Right. Little bit of uh, five left of a crest. Excessive um, right. counter steer required to keep straight around there. Opens of a crest. Thirty. Probably should have changed down there to try and keep a bit more speed out of the corner again, but is what it is. Ooh, calm down. Right. Calm down. Into three left of a crest tightens. Into caution, two right, tightens don't cut. Into six. Don't cut and don't go for the outside either. So that actually went quite well. This corner I'm normally terrible at, but we got through there okay. I'm not going to bother changing up, even though we were uh, hitting the throttle limit. That went quite well as well. Which puts us now in this sixth gear nightmare part of the course. Which if you can do it well, I've come down here really smooth a couple of times and it feels really nice coming down here and managed to control the car all the way down doing like 90 miles an hour, 100 miles an hour. And then we've got this. See, I tried gently braking and I just cannot pull it off. 
And we've got a puncture, haven't we? Oh, come on. Two right titans. Oh, okay, that was so smooth. I reckon we deserve one more try, but I really am going to have to stop after that. Because, uh, yeah. It's getting late and I need to edit this yet, because obviously I'm recording it the night before it uh, goes up. 60, three right titans. I don't think in all of the videos I've done I've ever had a jump start penalty. Twice now. Twice in, what, three attempts I've had one? Three, two, one, go. 60, three right titans, two right. Come on, then. Okay, we messed that up. That's fine, so we need to go into third round here anyway. Definitely not smooth, but it wasn't too slow. Second was a bit slower, but we can live with it. Third was okay. Messed up the gears a bit. They almost went into sixth from third whilst going uphill, which would have been a little slow, I suspect. Opens to flat right of a crest. Into six left. Little bit uh, five right. over the top of the accelerator there, which is why we oversteered a little bit. That's a bit late changing gear down, so we had a five left. Bit of spin there, but it pulled it through. Jump maybe. 30, Up to fifth for the jump. Always trying to keep a bit left on that jump because of that. Oh, we've got this corner. This corner, this corner, this corner. Oh, come on. All right, then. Well, I guess that's where we'll leave it. Not quite managing to do what we needed to do in the rally situation, but knowing that if we got through, we probably would have been... Probably would have been first. If not, it would have been a top three, I'm pretty sure, so that's not bad, is it? <sighs> Sorry I managed, didn't manage to get it through. I mean, uh, like I said, I've been recording probably an hour and a half now, which is a little longer than I normally do for my videos. And I, as I say, I don't give myself a lot of time sometimes, so... It does catch me out when a video takes a while to record. So, I hope you've enjoyed this latest look at Dirt Rally. If you have, do click the like button, as always appreciated. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Questions and comments, leave them down below as always, and I'll get back to you as soon as I see them. Don't forget, I do stream on Wednesdays at 6 p.m., so I'd love to see you there. Kapil, I look forward to your uh, judgment of this. I mean, I know if I can do it, it's fast. I just struggle to get through it. So I look forward to your assessment and judgment and your suggestions for next week's race. And if I don't see you in streaming, I will see you next time in Dark Rally 2. And as always, thank you very much for joining me.